Hi everyone, uh, Jeremy Williams here. I lead Digital Farming Solutions for Crop Science. I'm joined by two of my colleagues, Amanda McLaren, Chief Information Officer for Crop Science, and Bob Ryder, who heads R&D for Crop Science. We thought we could just pull back the curtain a bit on some of the, the things we shared with you back in June, give you a sense for some of the key themes that you would have seen at the Innovation Summit. And, and these videos are really a, a look into the not-so-distant future. So it's really exciting, and it's the what we see based on our technology and based on our conversations with farmers like John that you're going to hear about in Illinois, thinking about the future of farming and the new technologies that farmers are going to be embracing to really solve the challenge of producing more food while doing it in an environmentally sustainable way. And, you know, we start with our... Pression corn system. You know, Pression for us is a very exciting new technology. And we often think about these kinds of technologies as like traits, as an example, right? We think about corn rootworm protection that we provide to growers. But Pression is much more than that. And, and for us, it's really a first example of something that starts to give a system approach and provides a new innovation that has to include agronomic advice. And the role of AI in selecting and accelerating those hybrids that can become Pression products is really important too, because it's a very powerful tool that can help combine the genetic information that we know about the seeds with its performance in different environments and allow us to be more prescriptive about what we advance in the pipeline. Yeah, and you know, to, to really take advantage of artificial intelligence, you need data. And so we've got platforms like FieldView that farmers input their data into that over time allows them to run these really insightful analyses, some of them manual, but others that can take advantage of things like artificial intelligence, a really amazing way to drive more productivity and sustainability in farming. Right, that's exactly what the video is talking about right now, is what are these systems that connect all these services that can really streamline a farmer's life. So something like Azure Data Manager for Agriculture is a scalable solution that helps to unify processes that are potentially disconnected. And because it's a digital platform, we can easily embed the latest and greatest technology like large language models um, to bring that, that advantage to growers even faster. And you know, this is clearly very important for farmers, but it also has relevance to consumers. So now we can trace the practices that are used to generate the food we consume. This is one of the really important things that comes from being able to use more data and more technology in agriculture. But you know, technologies are always evolving, right? And we think about crop protection products, for example, and, and you often get the image of a sprayer going across mm. a field and applying it onto a crop. And of course, that's changing as well because there's many ways you can protect the crop. Uh, another way, for example, is through a trait, which is embedded in the seed. Or we can apply that crop protection product on the seed itself, and there it's right at the point of right. planting. And then even a third example is, you know, we want plants to be, in some sense, more self-reliant. Um, and one of the ways we can do that is providing microbes that help them do important functions like capturing nitrogen from the air and applying and then using that nitrogen to help to grow the crop, which is super exciting. So there's lots of different ways, I think, we think about the crop protection space. Yeah, and as, as we see here, UAVs, um, drones, are becoming a really important part of, of farming as well. They help uh, farmers do more scouting, collect higher quality data, more data, and really make better, more informed decisions about their operations, which is actually exactly how we're using this technology in our own breeding pipeline. About 70% of data points are now collected via UAVs. And you could use those same UAVs to apply important crop protection products, right, with greater precision. You can fly them over only those fields you need to. They can be applied in only those sections of the field that you need to have protection. And obviously, it's a very precise application because the drone, the drone can hover and or uh, be applied or go co-locate to where you need to have this, this protection take place. So it's amazing how these technologies continue to evolve with multiple use cases. Well, we'll stop it there for now. And it's very exciting to see, you know, what is the life of being a corn farmer in Illinois, as an example with John. But, you know, farming is more than just one crop anymore. And we have now crops like Covercrest, which we are hoping to bring to farmers soon, which will make farming really a, a year-round enterprise, even in a place like Illinois, where a farmer thinks about their corn crop in a season, they plant Covercrest, and it grows through the winter, they harvest it, and then it transitions into the soybean rotation for the following season. So thinking about farming as more as a system, holistically, as opposed to individual crops. 
Thanks for listening.